Okay, I thought I'd just show what I'm using to um, keep my um, Astrophysics 1100 GTO mount. And I've seen several times up on the AP group that uh, people will inquire what are they using. And um, people have some excellent choices. I just thought I'd show what I'm doing. This, this works for me. And uh, there's three separate boxes there. In the bottom is the uh, right ascension axis. The middle is the deck axis. And the top is just miscellaneous stuff. So the RA being the heaviest is I, I keep at the bottom. The deck, the next uh, lightest, and then the middle, and then the lightest would be at the very top. So what I'm using are these rigid toolboxes. And they have a system here, and I have everything that you see on here. But the one that I'm using here specifically is this middle box. The one here right in the middle. And uh, these work excellent. Uh, I really like them. And uh, like I said, I use them for tools. I've, I've used the top one for eyepieces. And um, they're, they're just a nice system. So the three that you're seeing here are what they call the 22 inch toolbox. It does come with a tool caddy that you see here. And I, I throw that out, it's not needed. Even when I have my tools, it's just not, nothing I need. But, um, so that's what it looks like. As per the specs, the 22 inch toolbox is 22.2 inches long, 13.7 tall, 12.4 inches deep, and uh, it is what they call 9.5 gallons. And as you can see, everything stacks on everything else. No matter what you get, everything stacks. That's one of the, the beauties of this system that I really like, because in the house, I can keep everything in, 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 one, in one spot. Now, it uh, says it's made of a high-impact resin, heavy-duty construction, and uh, water and dust seal. Now, it doesn't give a, a rating or anything, <clears throat> but I will say that I did a test, and I do have a video on my YouTube channel here, where I sprayed water on it and uh, didn't have any infiltration. But uh, obviously, I would not submerge these. No way would I submerge them. I think water falling down on them, I have no issues with. with. But again, submersion would, would not be a good thing. So let's take a look at these. They've got really nice latches. And you can see the orange weather seal here. It goes around the perimeter of the lid. So now we're looking inside the box that we had uh, labeled uh, 1100 uh, miscellaneous. And um, now what I did here is the quarter inch hex and 3 16 I just uh, bought these and I epoxy everything on here so they stay on. It doesn't cost that much. This is just something from Cobalt uh, Lowe's. And it's got a quarter inch driver. I buy the quarter to three eighths adapter. And then the two hex, these are the two that you use the most with the AP mounts. So I just made these up. They're a permanent thing I use. And of course, Astrophysics gives you these. The Bondus, Bondus is, I was a tool and die maker. Bondus is an excellent brand for hex, hex wrenches. I've had to take apart dies to sharpen and shim and I've used oh something like this maybe the 3 8 and I've used a big ass long bar to break them and I've literally twisted these literally twisted these and never broke them so the Bondus is an excellent brand I can vouch for that and here we have the keypad I have a thing for the keypad here we have a case for the CP4 cables the various power and uh, cables that you would use for the um, motors. This is the CP4. And then we have, let's see, down here, something that I made up to hold the um, keypad. 
anchor it to the uh, mount or the tripod that I have. I've got a hook that I made. This goes on like that. This hooks into the back of the keypad. Works out really well for me. So this is a Case Logic. Well, I bought these at Myers. They're they're fairly cheap, but I found out that uh, it's perfect for the CP4. Just just enough protection. I mean, it, it fits in there excellently, and uh, I keep the adapter on here. And I also have a video showing how I use this, uh, how I uh, made this, so you don't have to unbolt these bolts at night. But anyways, so that's this works perfect. Again, we have the same case, CP4 cables. And actually in here I did, this is the actual case logic number. I wrote that in there because, you know, you're never going to remember that. So it's an MGC-101. MGC-101. And uh, so we've got the cables for the CP4 to the motors. And then we've got the various the, the cables that I use uh, that I keep just with me that go into the inverter to power it up. Okay, so this is for the keypad. Now I like to be highly organized. If you have everything in, in a little pouch or a case, it protects it. You know, these things aren't cheap. And everything, you know, you label it, you know where things are at, and you get to them. And they're not just thrown in a big hodgepodge of things. So this, I believe, well, I got this at uh, Walmart. I think it's just a little case for um, like a small tablet. This is where I keep my keypad. Fits in there nice, keeps everything protected. And when I put it in there, okay, so as not to scratch anything here, I make sure everything stays on the back side. Okay, so that everything stays on the back side, so nothing here gets scratched. So I'm going to show you what I was talking about with this hook that I made up. And all this is is a stainless steel, like double uh, and swivel item right here. I think you can get that at Lowe's, Home Depot, places that sell miscellaneous stainless hooks, fasteners. And this is made by Night Eyes. I really come to like their products. They have a lot of unique products. And this is like a carabiner, uh, two hooks. That's the beauty of this. So this goes on like that. And then on the back of your, you have this thing that flips up. So I just simply hook that in there. This then hooks on to my hook that I put on my 12 inch pier, 12 inch tripod. And uh, at the end of the night, it becomes a simple matter of just, you know, simple. There we go. Take that off, push that back down, put it in the case, and you're good to go. Next up is the deck axis, and what I did is I just found some cheap, I guess, I don't know if it was like workout material, I don't, doing yoga or some damn thing. So I just bought a roll of that, and uh, what I have here is just a towel from Walmart, I believe it's 30 by 54 inches, 30 inches wide by 54 long, and uh, what I do is when I'm going to put it back in the case at night or at the end of a session is just open it up kind of center the uh, towel lengthwise drape it up over here and just set the mount right in there fold fold everything over on top of the mount and then I just put these in the back and in the front here just like that okay because there's a void there just for any side to side motion and this this is going to stay it's not going anywhere we're not tipping it over or nothing and uh, so here you see how it's setting in there you could put it any way you want that's just how I have it and then again once it's setting in there like that then I just start folding these over on top of it and crisscrossing the different sides and then uh, put the long piece in the back just to kind of protect it if it's got any sway and then put this in the front now this is the uh, 
right ascension axis and I had to do something a little bit different here and I'll show you um, just with the lid okay just had to do a little modification of the lid but it's very very simple so okay as with the deck axis I did the same thing with the towel laid it in there just get it you know kind of uh, centered and then up a little bit here lower the uh, RE axis down and um, now you got to put it in whether you want to put this side there or the other way I always in my case have to put it in this way and I'll show you why so basically um, I have the base to the right and the uh, motor housing to the left and the motor housing to the front so <clears throat> this sticks up a bit and so with the ribbing in the lid what I ended up having to do as you can see right here is just notch out the center rib I just notched it with a um, utility knife scored it deep several times cut it with the aviation snips and then just uh, scored the back side front and bot you know the front and back sides of this and just twisted it came right off and then that way when it does close this receives into that void that you created so that was the only reason so this you have to kind of put in no matter which which side you put this on that's one of the considerations whether you want that on this side or whatever uh, that's something that I had to do so something I want to show you is this lip it's got that that weather seal okay but it has this lip instead of just being flat like um, it actually has a lip on here so that when you close the lid this lip the surface right here extends below this so any water that would run down go down would just hit here and run down and uh, I like that and again it's got this this weather seal so uh, I've tested these and I haven't had any problem so again I'm sure the hell not going to submerse it this is just if it's outside sitting there you get a big old storm rain starts coming down you got your stuff protected one last thing to show you and it doesn't matter <clears throat> Whether it's these, the, the toolboxes, or the other units, they all do the same thing. You can gang them together. So you've got this little bar comes up. That's pretty damn cool. So this way when you stack them, you can keep them nice and neat and locked together.